Hey guys, it's Tom here with MYT Solar in beautiful Las Vegas. Just finished up this install. It's kind of the end of the day here, but we got it done while we still had a little bit of light for our video. So this is an F27 KVS, an outdoors RV fifth wheel. Put a big system in this. This is our 24 volt flagship system. So we've got 2,500 watts of solar on the roof, multi plus two, 3000 watt inverter, we have our three 200 amp hour Victron 24 volt batteries and a full Victron system, which is really, really neat, really sophisticated, probably the most robust system you can get in terms of batteries and other components with the Victron all the way around. Yeah, 2,500 watts on the roof. Beautiful system for this beautiful fifth wheel we'll show you around. So this is the old battery location on this fifth wheel. There used to be a shelf here. It was actually hollow down the bottom, uh, open to the road. We we put a nice floor in this so it's now weather sealed in terms of splash coming up. It's also a nice ventilated compartment. You can see the vents here on the door because it was a battery for lead acid batteries that needed to be vented. So this is where we've got the multi plus two. This is the 24 volt multi plus two, 3000 watt inverter. Perfectly here, nice, nice breathing room. It'll stay, stay nice temperatures and it'll operate quite well here. So that's a really good use of space for that multi plus. I'll show you where we put the rest of the equipment. So up the front here in this front story bay on this storage bay on this F27 KVS, we have all the Victron goodies. So like I said, this is a full Victron system. So we have three 200 amp hour Victron batteries. They're, they're 24 volt batteries. So that's a lot of power right here. I think these are 5,000 watt hours each. So we have 15,000 watt hours. The wall here we put up here with this plexi just to make sure they can store everything over here. They can have tubs up against here and not worry about anything falling on the batteries. The Victron batteries are awesome. They have an external BMS, so everything is controlled by the DVCC in the Victron. And what's great is that all the devices are talking to the batteries and feeding the batteries exactly what the batteries need, stopping things that shouldn't be discharging at certain times. And basically just, it's a very well connected system and that's the advantage of the full Victron. The Victron stuff alone is great, but when you add in the Victron batteries, I think you have one of the best systems going. So these are just amazing batteries. And like I said, they're 200 amp hour, 24 volt batteries. So they're not that big. This actually, if you think about a hundred amp hour, about a 12 volt system, this would be 1200 amp hours right here in this small little space. So we have the 250, 100 MPPT, like I said, we have the smart BMS controlling the batteries. We have the links distributed with all our fusing, obviously all our custom cable that we like to do. We have the Orion over here. So this is the Orion, not for a DC to DC charger, but this is the Orion to step the 24 volts down to the 12 volts to give the coach the 12 volts that it needs. Servo GX and our touch panel inside, you'll see. And this is, yeah, just really nice layout. We really love how this one looks, so check it out. So for this flagship install, this 24 volt system, we have 2,500 watts of Rich Solar up here. These are the new 250 watt panels from Rich Solar that are actually two 125 watt individual cells. So we have 10 250 watt panels up here for a total of 2,500 watts. But really in terms of shading and things like that, it's essentially the same as having 20 125 watt panels up here. Having that panel divided in half is going to help that as half of it's shaded, you're not losing you know, the majority of the panel. It's just maybe the 125 individual cells. So pretty neat design for these panels. Five in series, then two parallel, 2,500 watts. Interesting shape of the roof on these outdoors RV fifth wheels. So we had to get a little bit creative. We had to use some taller brackets. We couldn't use the rail system on this flagship just due to the roof shape, but still happy that we can get 2,500 watts up here, which is pretty much the biggest we've gotten on an outdoors RV apart from our personal rig. So 2,500 watts is awesome to have on this rig. So here's the Touch 70 right here in the bathroom. A lot of people think it's kind of a funny position for the screen, but that's where we have ours. Sometimes we can't choose the wall where the Touch 70 goes, but it's honestly not a bad place for it right here because usually I come in, I'm washing my hands, I'm doing my business, I'll just just tap the screen like that and I can see what my system's doing before I leave the room. And it's always just a nice place. You're always going in there, you're always coming out of there. So it's just a reminder, wash your hands, boom, check the screen. You can see what your battery's doing. You can see what the inverter's doing. You can see how much solar you get. Again, this is just one way to see the system. 
you've got the Bluetooth app through the Victron Connect. You can pull this screen up from any web browser. You can log into the VRM and see some more details there. So you have tons of access to this screen, but it's a nice big seven inch screen here in the bathroom for this customer. They can see what everything is doing and, and it's looking good. So thanks for watching again. This is uh, Tom with MYT Solar here. This is our flagship build using our nice Victron 24 volt, 200 amp hour batteries. So it's a 24 volt system, 2,500 watts of solar on the roof, which is all we could fit on, honestly, in this fifth wheel. All the Victron trimmings, again, if, if you're looking to get something like that, this done, again, this is our flagship build, but if we have all our packages on our website. So if there's something a little smaller, you don't need to be running your air conditioner as much as this customer plans to. Uh, we've got a package for everybody to help get you off grid. So again, this is Tom with MYT Solar. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next install.